In our conventional world of, of biochemistry and cellular biology, we focus on a Newtonian belief of a material world. Through the history of science, we focus on the mechanical reality and have let go of the concept of energy and fields uh, as information in biology. 1875 to 1920 was this enormous growth of biochemistry and it was then thought that chemistry is probably, you know, we're a chemical machine. The answer is to put the right chemical in the body and you'll get better. To a point, that's correct. But it doesn't appear to be correct for chronic disease. It's correct in the short term. If I was a potential patient coming to you to use your system, how would it work? What happens when, you, when you're a patient is, is you go and visit a practitioner. They, they then do this an analysis scan on you, which, which we call ProVision. They put their hand on a device, and up on a computer screen comes up, up a picture of their body, and it, and it tells them which part of their own operating system, i.e. which part of the information that controls their own biology, is going right or is going wrong and then from that analysis the practitioner will then select what we call imperceuticals which are information inside remedies that can then will then direct the body's own healing response to get them better. One of the fundamental things that has to change in the future of medicine is this focus on the gene as being the solution to every illness. The new science is just mind-boggling because it reveals that through epigenetic mechanisms, through the influence of the environment on reading the genes, epigenetic mechanisms can produce over 30,000 different variations from every gene blueprint. And all of a sudden you start to recognize that, you realize we have potentials that are totally unlimited. And this is a great change from a belief that genes were deterministic now genes are potentials. Just as you can build two different buildings with the same bricks and cement, if you have two different plans, uh, you can build different organisms with different fields. We think the body field is what decides which piece of information is taken from the DNA. There's a hierarchy of fields organizing our bodies. There's the field of the whole body, there's the fields of the organs, and then the fields of the tissues, and then the fields of the cells within those. Field of our own body is within and around the body. There's an overall field, and then there's subsidiary fields, sort of modular fields for arms, legs, and the different organs. The advantage of fields is that they're intrinsically holistic. All fields are holistic. There are receptor cells receptor protein cells on the outside of the cell which are simply there to, re to receive environmental information. How is my day today? What is going on out there? What does the body want this little cell to do today? You see what I mean? There has to be uh, intercellular communication but there has to be one source so there can be one control system for the body. Morphogenetic fields, or more generally fields of information, yes, are control systems over and above the molecular level or um, the biochemical level. They're systems that organize the body, they organize the developing organism. It's time for us to bring these qualities of healing into the mainstream conversation about what is necessary to create an optimal healing system. Ness Health developed a therapy that works with the human body field, the body's intelligent, self-healing, self-correcting, energetic and informational structure that functions above the level of genes, in other words, epigenetically. What we've accomplished at Ness Health is truly revolutionary. We've created a scientifically sound theory of how information transfer works in the body. Now the science behind the Ness system spans over 20 years of research by Peter Fraser and integrates research into the fields of physics, quantum biology and Western and Chinese medicine. 
The result is the first accurate map of the human body field, which acts as the master control system of the body. Now, the Nest system is the world's first system where you're able to view a map of the human body field and directly correct distortions found in that map, triggering a healing response using the Nest My Health, Nest Infoceuticals, and Nest Trition. Nest has devised a proprietary method of imprinting subatomic particles with Nest information in a base of organic colloidal minerals. Now, each infoceutical that restores the information that corrects specific aspects of the human body field and the information falls into categories that are related to different aspects the energetic drivers, energetic integrators, energetic terrains and energetic stars. The Nest system detects a wide range of reliable and consistent data about a person's current state of well-being. In subsequent testing it reveals the changes, improvements and alterations that might have taken place over time and which layers of the body field might still need to be addressed. The scan over time reveals deeper and deeper levels of imbalances, so a person's readings are dynamic rather than static. And in this way, the Nest system is a powerful tool for preventative health analysis. So I like the accuracy, I like the effectiveness, I like the simplicity, and above all, I like the safety. The safety factor is huge. There are no side effects from the infraceutical. Information becomes a type of energy because it's, a, it's an orderliness in space, all right? So they are interchangeable, but on the other hand, in practice what happens is you get a wave of energy and then upon that wave you can get imprinted information. And the amount of information you can imprint appears to be limitless. Now, information medicine, medicine that takes information and changes disturbed information patterns, is the future of medicine. The control system of the body is not genes or chemistry but information that seems to be available in the body field. Is it possible to put new information into the body to affect wellness? This is exactly what a number of researchers are now doing. We've learned how to stop the distortion of information that occurs as a result of various disease processes. Once you stop the distortion, surprisingly enough, the physiology begins to work, the chemistry comes right, there are really wonderful healing stories to be told here and it's simply because we've learned how to correct the distortion of information in your body field. Disease is in a sense scrambled information. If we can access the appropriate information we can correct the scrambled information and that's what a number of energy modalities are doing. At Ness Health we conduct clinical trials outcome studies, frontier science techniques and proof of concept studies. In the latest study on long-term fibromyalgia sufferers, we have a report of a third of all subjects being completely pain-free at all trigger points at the end of the study, which is an extremely significant positive effect for this particular condition with no current orthodox treatment. But in addition to that, 71% reported no morning rigidity at the end of the study, Another 71% reported a decrease in levels of anxiety, 79% an absence of headaches, and 85% reported a lack of depressive symptoms at the end of the study. A phonography has also been used to investigate the efficacy of the Nest therapeutic system. Using a thermal imaging camera, images were taken of subjects before and after Nest My Health therapy using broadcast only mode. And as is seen from this case study of a massage therapist with pain in the fingers and both thumb joints, just a six minute My Health session using three simple functions applied off the body led to a significant change in blood flow as visualised by the camera, accompanied by a reported relief in pain and severity levels.